Hello YouTube, this is Sam Gerrans from quarternight.com. Today is Monday the 6th of September 2021 and I'd like to attempt again to go through uh, one of the surahs that I'm going through between the surahs 50 and 114. And uh, this is surah 77. I have recorded this before and found that the audio wasn't there, so I'm doing it again. And we'll just jump into it and, and see how we go. Um, but before that, if you want to know why I am interested in these surahs, then if you look at, I think it was surah 75 in the first 10 minutes of that, I give that sort of overview. I'm not going to go over that again now. So, surah 77. By those sent in succession, and the tempestuous ones a raging, and the scattering ones a scattering, and the dividing ones a dividing, and those delivering a reminder as justification or warning. Now, we find throughout the Quran there are a number of uh, oaths, and these oaths take different f grammatical forms in the Arabic, but we find an awful lot of them in this segment that I'm looking at between uh, Surahs 50 and the end of the Quran. And most of these Surahs, not all of them, but all, most of them uh, appeal to things that are seen and known. I mean, we get this throughout the Quran, but these are appeals to things that we can already see and, and, and have already experienced and a way of leverage, leveraging those things so that we can apprehend things that we haven't seen and haven't experienced yet. Now, from my research on this, the, the sort of um, preponderance of views is that this refers to either angels or the winds, various winds bringing different types of things. Um, my own personal view is that it refers to wind and, and you know you have um, those sent in succession you have clouds going in succession winds following one after another the tempestuous ones are raging the scattering ones are scattering the dividing ones are dividing and those delivering a reminder as justification or warning and again it's appealed to something that we've all known wind we've all known storms we all we, we experience them as something which you know happens quite they can happen quite suddenly and even if you're you're not in one currently you can understand what it's like to be in one and if you are in one you can understand what it would be like when they're, they're no longer here and that i believe is is one of the the reasons for this particular oath uh, because of what it then leads into verse number seven what you are pr promised it will befall so it opens with something that we've seen and know about and then it refers to something which we haven't seen but we can anticipate it will befall what's it talking about it's talking about the, the day of judgments it's talking about the hour it's talking about this thing this this um calamitous event which is foreshadowed, has been foreshadowed in each of the destructions of each of the peoples uh, that the Quran talks about you know, copiously, starting with Noah and then Hud and then Thamud and so so on going through the people of Salih, the people of um, the people of Shuaib and then the, uh, the, the people of Lot. You have all of these types of, of people with their with their sort of um, characteristic sins that were totally destroyed and it's not just that there's a fear of destruction and this of course is the the tradition in which Muhammad himself was following and if you read my work the God Protocol you'll see that it's quite clear that the original recipients of Muhammad's um, warning and and preaching were destroyed they must have been they simply must have been um, I'm not going to go over that now but if you're interested in it you can download that in its entirety from quarternight.com the main point here is appeal to something that you know to indicate or signpost or signal something that you don't know yet. Verse 8. Then when the stars are put out and when the heaven is cleft asunder and the mountains are scattered and when the messengers are brought to the time appointed. See, this is something we haven't seen yet, but we've seen something that there's something, an appeal to something that we know, and now a signpost to something that we don't know. And you find that time after time after time, to some degree across the Quran, but very particularly in this last segment between 50 and 114. Now, it will be full. This is the day that we're all you know we all we all, i think most people have a kind of an anxiety to it may it may um manifest itself in different ways but 
It says in the Quran, man was made, was created anxious. And I, I think we are created anxious. Obviously, that anxiety spills out in neuroses of different forms, but we're meant to be we're meant to be anxious. This isn't the the Freudian um, uh, sort of death wish or something like that. I think we have it kind of implanted within us a, a, a pre-existing anxiety about about a calamity to come, and we're told that it will be fall. And it goes on. And then when the stars are put out, and the Arabic tumisat tumisat tum it's to be put out and it's the same verb as uh, is is used to uh, about the people of lot when they are um basically kind of pestering lot and the messengers sent to lot it says that god put out their eyes so this is something that can see that has been put out it, th th this kind of terminology does not comport with um the, the NASA-esque uh, cosmology that we've been fed in the last 50 years or so. It, it just doesn't. Moving down to, to verse 9. And when the heaven is cleft asunder, and it, it does say cleft asunder, there are other verbs talking about the heaven, the sky breaking, cracking. Um, other places in the Quran when they talk about pieces of the, the, of the sky falling down. This this presentation just doesn't fit with, um, you know, what what we're told about the sky. It it fits with the well, actually, the Old Testament presentation, which is of of a, of a, a firmament of something hard, which is a, a, above the earth, um, which can crack, which can break. It's, it's something very strong. Uh, the idea of you know endless. Um, limitless universe going off into space forever which uh, you know with um captain kirk on USSS enterprise boldly going where no man has gone before this is this 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 narrative just doesn't exist in the quranic presentation just isn't there anyway to continue uh verse 10 and when the mountains are scattered and when the messengers are brought to the time appointed. Now, I've marked this point here at verse 12 with uh, double dashes. And the reason is, is because there are places in the Quran where the, the narrative seems to be just, just interrupted, cut off, and it switches to something else. And this is how I indicate this particular device. Um, again, if you take the first segment, these are the winds, different types of winds. These are things we've experienced. And then it ap ap appeals and indicates things which we haven't yet experienced but we can experience a sudden wind we know what it's like for something to befall and and one of the motifs which repeats over and over and over again especially in this last latter part of the quran is about the day when the by the daybreak by the by the by the, uh, the the morning the morning light again this something which we can experience these circles these rounds of time which we've all experienced we understand that something which hasn't happened yet could happen in the future this is what the quran appeals to in terms of appealing to the day the day which is without doubt we're doubtless going to it but we heedless humans we forget about this day and we get wrapped up in 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 the immediate to continue and and so and so the, the the narrative is interrupted. To what day will it be deferred? And then the the answer comes to the day of decision. And what will convey to thee what the day of decision is? Woe that day to the deniers! Now certain surahs have what you might call certain refrains. The Quran says itself says that it is easy to remember, and. Um, in fact, that 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 is part of a refrain which repeats many times in one surah. This refrain, "Woe that day to the deniers," is, as it were, the chorus of this of this surah. So, when, when the Quran says that it's easy to remember, it doesn't mean that perhaps it's all easy to remember. But there are certain parts of it which are repeated and repeated and repeated, and this is one of them. It's repeated multiple times in this in this surah. Woe that day to the deniers. So, so if there's a takeaway in this verse, it's it's in sorry in this surah, it is this uh, this mo motif or this refrain. Woe that day to the deniers. So even if it's not woe to the deniers this day, 
it will be woe to them that day. There's no escape from this, as I say many, many times. There's no VIP lounge the other side of death. We're all going towards it. Doesn't matter who you are, if you're Klaus Schwab or you're, you know, whoever pe people tell him what to do. It, it, you know, everyone's on, on a timeline, and um, on that day, it's it's all you have is your faith and your and your works. That's it. You have nothing else. So woe that day to the deniers. Verse 16, did we not destroy the former peoples? You see, again, an appeal to something that's already known. The Quran gives us all of the histories of many of the former communities that were, were destroyed. And so, and did God not destroy the former peoples? Yes, he did. In fact, you can go and, you know, you can go and prove these things to yourself if you wish to dig around. I mean, there have been, a, uh, I think his name was Wyatt. It was a Christian guy who um, did a lot of research on on the people of Lot, and also on the on the Ark, I'm, sh I'm sure you can f find that uh, on YouTube if it hasn't been um, hasn't been shadow banned or worse by by Google. Then will we cause to follow them those who came later. So did we not destroy the former peoples? Yes, yes, God did destroy the former peoples. Then will we cause to follow them those who come later. So there's a clear indication that there's another destruction to come, in in, in my view. And it, it, even without that, all the all the la the latter peoples we're all following. You know, we're all going to the same place to continue. Thus, do we with the lawbreakers. Now, this word lawbreakers, mujrimun, mujrimin. It means it means lawbreakers. It means criminals. It's actual criminals, but. It's it's not like criminals are disobeying the laws of the government, uh, as we've all become, I hope, aware. You know, in recent times, uh, the the governments, <laughs> well, you know, really they are the lawbreakers. Um, and if that wasn't obvious before, it's certainly obvious to everyone now. No, this isn't talking about that. That's not talking about people who don't pay their uh, their slave taxes and so on it's talking about people who disobey the laws of god people who break the laws of god so that's what it's talking about let's continue verse 19 woe that day to the deniers you see here it is again just this one thought if you're going to take this away that this is this is the key takeaway in this sort of did we not create you from a despised water we've had this in previous sorrows and it's again, it's an appeal to something that is already known, and it's quite easy to kind of skim. Oh, yeah, did yeah, we were created from despised water, but if you think about it, we were actually we every single human being was created from a sperm drop in connection with an with, with an egg. That's it. You know, we were just one cell, and then we divided into two cells, and then into four cells, and so on. That's where we come from. And and when we actually stop and think about that, all of our hubris, all of our concerns about ourselves and our vanity and all the rest of it kind of fades away into nothing and we placed it in a fixed lodging secure for a known measure and this is the key point you see a known measure human beings have a, a set known term of gestation and this too is an appeal to something that hasn't happened yet but you know if a woman is pregnant unless she has a miscarriage she's going to have a child and it's going to be at you know at a particular time again it's this i suppose the word for it is agency it's being able to make rational reasonable uh, conclusions about something which hasn't happened yet and to make rational reasonable decisions that are geared around this I suppose investment is the closest that we have to it in, in, in kind of modern thinking. But th this is why I, I translate the word taqwa as prudent fear. It, it is a fear. It's an anxiety. It's it, it, but it's based on something real. It's not just, it's not a neurotic anxiety. You know, the, the day of judgment is definitely coming. If it weren't coming, that would be neurotic. Um, and it's prudent. It's prudent because you're actually doing something about it. Uh, but but it's, it's, a, it's a planning for some unavoidable um test and so it is prudent i suppose agency is very close to it and human beings as far as we know are the only only cre only creatures capable of making these sorts of judgments and we are expected to we're expected to we're given we're given the scripture we're given a brain we're, 
able to make these kind of decisions for ourselves and and as it says in the Quran God guides whom he guides so and for a known measure so we determined and how excellent are those who determine again this is alluding to it's 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 almost like each of these sorters has got a spine that runs down it, and then you go down follow each of the, each of the vertebrae and then it goes off like along into a rib and then it comes back to the spine again like this so this is what it's doing so we determined and how excellent are those who determine again this is relating back to the key point which is the day of judgment and it continues with the with the um, refrain that we've noted and which we, sh we shall see again as we go through verse 24 woe that day to the deniers have we not made the earth a container of the living and the dead now, again this is talking about what is what is it did we not make man from a despised did we not create you from a despised water yes we did and uh, 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 in a fixed lodging secure uh, for a known measure each of us yes of course we were born within this time frame and now it's talking about did we not make the, the earth a, a, a container for the living and the dead every single individual life contained within this one place and we know that God is how excellent are those who determine it's, it's almost fractal in its in its circularity and we made therein high firm mountains and gave you to drink sweet water again an appeal to something which both we can see and that we can taste especially you water drink you drink it with your lips which is the most sensitive parts of the body and the quran talks in in various places yes and we've already had it and the, uh, verse 10 and when the mountains are scattered so again it's referring now to something that you can see which aren't scattered it's talking about a future event that you can you can estimate we all know about children and babies and nine months and all the rest of it it's circular it's iterative it's 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 designed to kind of get into your into your unconscious mind as well as into your conscious mind to continue 28 woe that day to the deniers depart for what you denied depart to the threefold shadow neither shading nor availing against the flame it throws sparks like logs as if giant fiery ropes woe that day to the deniers so this is something we haven't seen yet and yet we can extrapolate from what we experience and know and understand to be coming other things which are beyond our ken at this time and yet appeals to the creator of both this appeals to reason this is not an unreasonable presentation to continue this is the day they will not speak nor be given leave then put forth excuses so this is the day when it all stops you know all social media is done all of the lies are over instagram is down and you know all of people's presentations and all, all of that is gone now it's the day of truth and uh, no no more lies um no more propaganda <laughs> no more having to listen to this endless stream of falsehood coming out of uh, you know coming out of the media machine and so on this is the day they will not speak nor be given leave then put forth excuses i don't know about you but i i'm tired of all the lies it's, it's one of the most exhausting things about living in the 21st century woe that day to the deniers this is the day of decision we have gathered you and the former peoples so if you have a plan then plan against me and we, we find this motif many times in the quran and they plan and god plans and god is the best of planners so this is the quranic equivalent of bring it on you know, you know come show us what you've got they've got nothing in, in the words of um robert de niro you got nothing nothing you got nothing they got nothing there's no plan that they've got it doesn't matter what they tell you it doesn't matter what they you know <laughs> they try to frighten you with um especially with you know the big thing the big the big new cult on the block now um people are terrified of dying 
you know, what are they so terrified about? Uh, they're terrified. It, the libtards are all terrified of dying. They're just because they're just terrified of all the lies they've told. They're afraid in Quranic parlance of what their hands have sent ahead of them. They're fr they don't know. They don't know all, all the claims they make. The, the Lawrence Krauses of this world, with uh, who's in all seriousness stands up there and would, in all seriousness, presents to you the idea that the universe inv invented itself out of nothing. Can you imagine having to defend that? And they make they make plenty of money on it. It's big, there's big bucks in this. If if you've got you know the gift of the gab and you can remember a few impressive sounding facts, you, you can have a whole career doing just that. Woe that day to the deniers. To continue, those of prudent fear will be among shades and springs and such fruits as they desire. Eat and drink with satisfaction for what you did. For what you did. I've touched on this in previous talks. This is a meritocracy. And the, the wonderful thing about this meritocracy is that it's open to anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter, you know, the, the, there's no sort of identity politics here. There's no excuses. In fact, we go back to here. Um, this is the day they will not speak nor be given leave then put forth excuses. No more excuses. There's no good claiming that you were, you know, the wrong this or the wrong that or the wrong whatever it is. Whatever, whatever you know, people have been taught to, to use as their excuse machine. None of this counts on that day. And, and this is the wonderful thing. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're starting from. Um, turning towards God and going in that direction, anyone can choose that. Anyone, doesn't matter who you are, what position you're in. You can choose to repent. You can choose to do the best you can. You can choose to please God. I mean, I have a personal prayer. I mean, people will ask me for advice, and I get a bit tedious, a bit tired of it because, um, because I don't see that as my sort of role. I certainly don't want to be kind of locked into that sort of online Muller role or whatever you would call it, um, the Mufti role. It really isn't me. My role is more about kind of doing my work and hopefully, uh, kind of encouraging other people to do theirs and to use their own brains that seems to be it but i will share this i mean my if you want to call it dua you know my own personal prayer is i, I ask god to help me to delight in paths which are pleasing to him that's that's i, I will tell you that much that's that's a prayer that i use a lot you know, lord help me to de to delight in paths which are pleasing to you you can't go wrong with a prayer like that um anyway i'll just continue um Eat and drink with satisfaction for what you did. Thus reward we the doers of good. Yeah, not the thinkers of good or those who are planning to do good or those who'd worked out some very complicated number-based theory of what good might be, but actually the doers of good. It's, it's, a, it's, it's an applied thing. It's practical, but it's also accessible. It's accessible to anybody. You can, you can start now. It doesn't take... You don't have to kind of like... It's not like Ireland when you stop people in Ireland and ask how to get to somewhere and you you know you wind the window down and you say can you tell us the way to Tipperary please and they say oh no you don't want to start from here you know <laughs> it's not like that it's not like you have to start from somewhere other than where you are you just start from where you are but start woe that day to the deniers eat and enjoy yourselves a little you are lawbreakers. Again, it's the same same word, mujerimun, lawbreakers, uh, criminals, literally criminals, people who go out and break the laws of God. We have it all day long. Read my work, uh, The God Protocol. This society, this world society, with its single language, its single pharmaceutical system, its single cultural system, like TV, whatever, films and rubbish, and not this so-called music, um, single economic system, it's feminism, it's single religion, which is basically uh, humanistic materialism, all of this. Um, all of these things are criminal. They're actually criminal. They're criminal against, they're breaking the laws of God. And I, I tabulated all of the different crimes, all of the different um, characteristic sins of all of the communities destroyed by God, for, for which we have record in the Quran. And this world society commits all of them. Actually, actually, all of them, in total. So, it's worth bearing that in mind, isn't it? Eat and drink, eat and enjoy yourselves a little. You are lawbreakers. Verse 
47. Woe that day to the deniers. And when it is said to them, be lowly, they are not lowly. Woe that day to the deniers. Then in what narration after it will they believe? I, in what narration after it, after this, after this revelation will they believe? And interesting, the word for narration that I have translated narration here is hadith. It seems that the Quran in a lot of ways almost um, prefigures the the traditionalist Muslims' um, misuse of this word uh, and it's quite clear well in in, in in if we're talking about the traditionalist muslim you know in what narration after it will will they believe well obviously quite a lot in fact a whole library of stuff so but i don't think this ap- 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 appeals or applies only to the traditionalist muslim it ap- appeals and applies to humanity as a whole this is the final message from god Muhammad was, according to the Quran, he was the seal of the prophets. Um, this revelation, you know, has been preserved, and 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 we still have it. And it 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 is a um, a voluble and a convincing witness to those who wish to spend the time to consider its contents. And that's what I do on this channel. Um, I don't have any pre-existing uh, allegiance to or even really dislike of you know traditionalist islam i just not really that interested in it or i'm certainly no more interested in it than i am in um you know mormonism or the Hare krishnas or something like that um the quran calls us to consider its contents with care and and that's that's what i'm doing here i hope the way that i'm breaking these surahs down uh, is uh, is helpful to you and, and helps you to kind of come to the Quran in, in a more considered way. It is very terse. It's a very dense writing. And uh, as I've mentioned in other in other videos, we are not used to this kind of reading, um, especially if we're getting a lot of kind of email kind of communication or if we're spending time on social media. I don't spend any time on social media now, but, you know, if you do spend time on it, you're, you're you're reading in a very superficial way, just often just scanning the first few words and then moving on to the next bit. We are actually, um, we're drowning in information. And for me, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of simple. I know I've got a lot of books behind me, but in a way I'm sort of, I, I knew what was coming now has, was becoming, I've known that for a long time. And so I just took the precautions to buy books that I was interested in in, in anticipation of the likelihood that it wouldn't be possible to, to have them shipped, you know, to where I live. And so so that's that. But actually, I mean, I do read them, but I I read uh, primarily the Quran and I, I read it very slowly and savor it. it. It's it's an after eight mint. It's not a Big Mac. You know, it's it's an after eight mint when you have only got one after eight mint. <laughs> it's something that you you know you nibble through and 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 savor, and that's when you get you know that's when you get the riches from it. Anyway, that's it for today. I wanted to catch up because I I've got a sort of a mental timetable of getting through these remaining surahs, and I I as I have mentioned before, I did all this talk once before and. When I'd finished it, I found that the whole thing had disappeared or all of the audio had disappeared. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope everyone's well. And I'm going to try and drop another video in the next few days. God willing. Bye for now. If you're listening on YouTube, you can download my full translation of the Quran and all other work free using the button in the top right hand corner or buy the hard copy there at 10% less than on Amazon. You can download the audio from my YouTube videos to your mobile device using the links in the drop down below. I recommend meetquranites.com to connect with other Qur'an alone believers. Like if you like, comment if you have something constructive to say, and subscribe to get more each week. And use the link in the drop-down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. And remember, this life is short. Eternity is long. If you want good trees, plant good seeds.